Slow. Okay. Okay. You're talking so much. Now, how many of you know the expansion of Wipro? Yeah. Western India product. But Wipro is a computer company, right? They are an IT company. There is no nothing called. Uh, so, can anybody guess what could have been the uh, expansion of Wipro? They were manufacturing soaps. They were manufacturing soaps. What else? Is there anybody who has got an IT expansion for Wipro? West, with Western India products, actually they are called, Wipro started with sunflower oil. So they are called, they are calling themselves even today, Western India producers of vegetable oil and they started with Vanaspati. Vanaspati and vegetable oil. So my dear friends, FPSO is an abbreviation. Go to the right expansion, Google it. Today, your best friend in the whole world couldn't be better than Google. Anything you ask for, it replies to you and it gives you tons and tons of information. Please use Google properly. Please use Google predictively. Please use Google positively. Please use Google for your prospective future. That's the second next to take away. Please use Google and the expansion of FPSO is floating. You have a pen? Can you write this? Floating, prediction. Any guesses? Yes? Ship. No. Floating, prediction. Storage and offloading. You can write it for their benefit. Anyway, you'll see it when you get floating, production, storing, and offloading. My dear friends, when oil extraction happens, when the hydrocarbons come along, which are very dangerous, you have to get them separated from the crude oil. So the entire process platform is laid on the top side of the ship, and once the hydrocarbons are separated, we take the refined, that is crude oil, sands without the uh, hydrocarbons and store it on the bottom side of the ship. So, it's a wonderful concept. How did it happen to this person, Ramachandra? Because one day he sat and thought, why not we do it? There are a lot of people. There are thousands of FPSOs in the world. Reliance has got an FPSO named Dhirubhai himself. So, my dear friends, just go to Google, try FPSO and my purpose of coming here today is to tell you there are a lot of job, job opportunities in FPSO. But then it requires you to know certain things. 2D modeling, 3D modeling, Primavera, Intools, AutoCAD, I mean that is 2D modeling and then some, some other software or something to know about oil and gas, process platforms, process industry. So the option is very clear, my dear friends. If you are learning a the subject, out of class hours, when your time spent, you can go through the Google, you can read these things, and it's a wonderful concept. What do you save on this? FPSO is a major saving. I told you, yeah, transportation through pipelines, fantastic. Through subsea pipelines. Transportation through subsea pipelines is entirely safe. And one more main advantage. Yarosone Madri, you have to you don't have to lay platforms for uh, you don't have to lay platforms for process for process requirements in the sea. Only for oil extraction you have to have platforms. Where is the advantage? What is the other advantage? If uh, uh, you lay a process platform, suppose the oil is there, crude oil is there only for one year, it is wasted, right? What is the advantage in a ship? You can sail it to various places. So we had worked in a ship in China last uh, year. The same ship is now anchored at Indonesia. So next uh, three years it will be there in Indonesia. After that it will sail to another place. And in the engineers, they go and work offshore. It's a challenging career, my friends. It's a real challenging career. You have to go and uh, naturally you go to that uh, Indonesian uh, airport. And then they take you by chopper to a helicopter. And then uh, 
from the place they will put you on a barge and literally you will be jumping from the barge to the ship and from the ship to the barge like you know you will be doing a lot of uh, 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 physical fitness exercises along with which once you go on board in the ship you will be in the ship for about 25 days starting till about 60 days or 75 days and you know when the ship is anchored when the waves are rough it will be rattling it will be vibrating i mean you you have to pick up such qualities to sleep in a ship of that nature in water and you should not get seasickness and you cannot be expecting the best of the food and you cannot ask for the conventional food so there are lots of challenges in this field so my dear friends from today if you are looking for a core engineering company and the girls can also look to work on the engineering of this sitting at the office we have about 50 and odd women employees who are triple E engineers <coughs> they sit in the office and they work on this they do the basic engineering they do the detail engineering they do the bidding they do the entire support system they do these IO comms for uh, automation they do the entire systems configuration but then the boys go onto the field and then they work the girls give them the support from here but uh, the days are going to come very shortly that the women folk will also be allowed to as it is there is no rule to send them offshore it's going to come very shortly that they will also be sent to offshore so friends that's a good opportunity but then it will not help you to do it uh, get into this just with the BE okay so you want to work on this you want to do some courses on oil and gas process and on the software courses for all these things you require a good quality which I tell you, you have heard of Helen Keller? How many of you have heard of Helen Keller? Okay, what is uh, what is her uh, char characteristics? What is what is so special about Helen Keller? What is? She was born blind, deaf, and deaf. French. Somebody went and asked her, Madam, you are born deaf, you are born dumb, and you are born blind and still you were able to achieve so much in spite of being deaf, deaf and blind you did so much how was it possible? you know what her answer was? she said it is not in spite of it is because of what did she say? it is because of because I was blind because I was deaf because I was dumb I had to do this and today I have achieved this do you get the point? Can you clap for I will, I can, start. Yes, I will. Yes, I can. Again, three. Okay, one more time. Yes, I will, with the words. Yes, I will. A blind woman, a deaf woman, a deaf woman, deaf, deaf, a deaf, uh, deaf and deaf, I mean, uh, deaf and deaf woman could do this. I mean, we all are blessed with eyes, we are all blessed with ears, we are all blessed with the communication skills. Can't we speak English? Mudima Mudiada. Anything is possible, my friends, anything is possible. So, Aungukita, they asked her one more question, madam. Duff, I mean, uh, deaf, dumb, and blind. In spite of Undradanala, Aungamathitanga, because of it. You know the question. What is worse than being? Blind. punishment. Being blind. Being blind is, you know, so bad. But then, Adhavita, what is worse in Ketan? What was the reply, you know? Not having a vision, in spite of having eyes, is worse than being blind. What is vision, my dear friends? What is vision? One, one at a time, one by one. Please stand up and speak. This is a very important thing. I want you to pay more attention to this. One at a time. Whoever wants to answer, stand up. What is vision? Stand up. Come on, what is this? Stand up. Anybody, what is vision? Stand up. Vision is something about uh, having a goal, what he has to do. Vision is something about having a goal, what he has to do. What is vision? So, long, long term goal going to be achieved by 
long term goal going to be achieved by a person? You. What is vision? Yeah, you. She. Yeah. Aim. Vision is aim. What about you? Yeah. What is vision? You, you. Yeah, you. Having some achievements. Thinking about the future and having some achievements. Okay. Can anybody tell me what is vision in normal terms? Now, what is vision in normal terms? Confirm in a in a far in a in a overall view. Okay. What is vision? Ah. Overall view. Okay. Anything else? Okay, vision normal and a man of the way. In order of vision, every incident to not adopt it a point. Evolo Duranama Paka Pudido. The farther I am able to see is my vision. Correct. When you walk on the road, you are able to see some 20 feet. Correct. When you go on the cycle, you are able to see more distance. When you walk, uh, when you go in the uh, two wheeler bike, you see a little more distance. When you go in the car, when it's a highway, it's a good uh, four, four lane road, you are able to see how many kilometers? About one kilometer or 1.5 kilometers. When you are in the cockpit, when you are on the sky, how much are you able to see? A big long distance, right? So my dear friends, vision far away, Tolaidura far away is how much you are able to see. The answer what? Helen Keller gave us, not having vision is worse than not having eyes. If a person does not know where he or she is going to be 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line, 30 years down the line, which is vision <coughs> bad. So my dear friends, the next takeaway I am giving you today is from today, have a vision. Have a vision. I show you a beautiful clipping. In this clipping, you know these people how they have had a vision and what they have become today. Just have a look at this. No, no, it's okay. Let the lights be on. I don't think it affects you. Uh, if, if it affects you, then we'll see. Okay, one minute. Thank <laughs> you. 